Hammond carrying in the corner, now holding. Plays it to Pierpont as Cleveland returns their man to the ice. Pierpont on the far side, lost his glove. Wrist shot, save, rebound, Brian scores! The Junior Flames with the first goal of the game, 15-53, left to play in the first. That's an even strength goal. That's Plygon on a rebound. Pierpont with the wrist shot. Big rebound in front, and it seems like Long has had that problem so far in this game. Controlling his rebounds, Plygon finds that one in the slot and knocks it into a basically an empty net. Eat a knee with Tulik. Knocked Tulik's stick right out of his hand, and now a collision with the goaltender. Repka hit the goaltender. Look at this. There's white jerseys all over him. And now he's still down on the ice. Every white jersey on that ice is surrounding him right now. One thing you've got to give this Quad City team is you are not going to go into the net and hit Colin Fisher and get away with it. Yeah, it's Repka, just not going to happen. Repka from the line. Butita with 13 goals on the year. And he'll get a penalty shot here. This would tie it up at one if he scores. Collected center ice over the Quad City line. In on net, makes the move. Deeks, and a save made by Fisher. That's a huge save for Fisher. Going down, or tying up right there, 1-1 on, a, on a, a silly penalty shot. Really was not what they want to do here with, with uh, just about 10 to go in the first. Rapkus getting to it in the near circle, plays it up the wall. Up for net. Rapkus getting to it in the near circle, plays it up the wall. But Repka loses it at the line. Here's Leon in on net. Wrist shot, deflects over the net. Rapkus getting to it in the near circle, plays it up the wall. Up for Charlie Wisniewski, crossing the line. And on net, wrist shot, he scores! In the slot, he, he cut to the slot, fired a wrist shot, and beats Colin Fisher, glove side. And Cleveland will tie this one up at one. 31 seconds into the second period. Now it's played up to the line for Tulik. Back to Kesey, moves in on net, centering feed, and a save, oh, Quad City scores! I apologize, it looked like Long made the save. It's kind of a bobble. There was a delay there, about a three second delay. Everyone was sitting in front of the net and then the goal light went on and Quad City scores on the power play. I'm just going over to the far side. We have a delayed penalty on Quad City. I believe it's going to be either a slashing on Rick or Pierre Pompe. Here's a chance in front of the Quad City net, Cleveland scores. Now there's going to be the, a penalty on Quad City, but Cleveland scoring, didn't see who it was. I was looking to see who was going to be assessed the penalty, but Cleveland scores on the rush, getting on the far side, brought it in front and beats Fisher top shelf. So Cleveland will tie this one up at two. 107 left to play in the second period. Hickson will take it for the Quad Cities. This one's won by the Flames and Tulik from behind his own net. We have a scrap. It's going to be Rick and Repka. Here we go. These two lined up in center ice. Rick grabs a jersey, a big right over the top, and now Repka with a right. And now Rick with a couple of rights, and he knocks him to the ice, and these two continue to wrestle down to the ice. Oh, baby, what a good old-fashioned scrap that was. And these two still wrestling as the linesmen try to pull each other apart. That was a big right hand that Rick I'll threw right you. off the bat there. Rick was not afraid to make the first move. He grabbed Repka's jersey and just hooked a big right. Pierpont wins this one into the corner. Bell skating to it. Swings it around to the near side. Where it makes it all the way up to the line. Fired in front, doesn't get through. Now second attempt, Cleveland scores. The... Shot from the line, didn't get through, and it was sitting in a slot, and Spaza just turned and fired. Now this is gonna be a 3-2 lead for Cleveland. 15th face off to the left of Colin Fisher. He is won by the Lumberjacks. Berger from the line, his shot doesn't get through, still sitting in the slot, shot score. Cleveland scores on the power play. 4.32 left on the power play, 6.33 left in the third. By two late. He's being chased down by Spazit and misfires on a pass puck in front of the Quad City net and a diving Spazit scores in the empty net. 25.4 seconds left to play in the game. And it looks like Cleveland's gonna skate away with a victory in this one, taking it a 5-2 lead over the Quad Cities. You know, Mike, I, again, I hate, to, I hate to pick on the referees, but it's...